Now starting to close the gap through the practice sessions bit by bit every session. We know that Rossi races OK and he fought brilliantly for fourth place at Indianapolis last time out, but it's qualifying that's, uh, that's hurting him at the moment, so hopefully he has a, uh, a good run in qualifying today. And incidentally, Cal Crutchlow going quickest in, uh, in FP3. So we've had some, uh, some different players at the top of the, uh, of the leaderboard in each of the sessions. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more Q1 right after this. To go with the first period of qualifying, our coverage here for tomorrow's Czech Grand Prix. And of course, only the top two in this session, Daryl Beattie, will advance to the final part of qualifying and the chance to race for pole position. Quick uh, details of the circuit for those that might be just tuning in right now. The Bruno circuit, of course, 5.4 k's uh, in length, longer straight, just 636 metres. Yeah, and you would imagine this session, as we've seen from previous ones at the top there, uh, Ian Oney, Colin Edwards, uh, Aspargo as well, but you would imagine those three riders are probably the three that uh, are more than likely to, to battle for this advancement, as Greg said, the top two. Take you straight to the commentators now, Gavin Emmett and Nick Harris in the box, and covering the pit lane, it's Dylan Gray. Right, so uh, 